Let's start with a Southern Italian version of a crostini, and it's really gonna set our taste buds going for this European tour. So let's make the pesto first. When I first thought about making a pesto with jalapenos, I thought to myself, you know what? This is gonna be way too spicy. I like to use chili peppers for accent, not for injury. And so what I did first was actually roast the jalapenos. We got a little char on the outside. It kind of melts out the spice a little bit. I took the stems off and the seeds out. So all I have is really just the flesh of the chilies. And I left the skin on because we're gonna puree it anyway. And I want some of that charred flavor from the skin. And then I'm gonna take a whole bunch of parsley leaves, some uh, Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, just like a regular pesto, except uh, instead of basil, we're using the jalapenos and some parsley. I love the creamy texture of uh, pine nuts when they're pureed. Adds good texture to this. Crunchy and creamy. Some salt and pepper. And uh, of course, some garlic. So we're just gonna crush the garlic out of its skin. Okay, so we have all those ingredients in there. We have one last ingredient to add, which is the olive oil and then slowly add the olive oil. So it emulsifies really nicely. So we have our pesto done. You can make that ahead of time, get that out of the way. Okay, here's the soppressata. It's like a uh, sort of a dry salami with some spice in it. So we're gonna mix it with some onions and, uh, and then fold in some, uh, some scrambled eggs, put that on the crostini with the jalapeno pesto on top. I mean, soppressata is, is something that you're gonna find mostly in the south of Italy. Nice spicy flavor, very bold flavors there. I love that kind of gutsy cuisine that you'll find in the South. All right, so we're gonna let that begin to saute. And uh, let's use a red onion. Why not? I'm gonna dice some, some onion here. So we'll have the soppressata, some red onion. Then we're gonna scramble some eggs. You can see how this is all starting to come together, right? We're gonna have that crusty ciabatta bread with the olive oil. I'll cut it into individual crostini. And, um, and then on top, we'll have the scrambled eggs, very lightly scrambled with the um, soppressata and the red onions running through it. A little provolone cheese, maybe some fresh herbs. And I'm gonna top it off with, don't forget it, our jalapeno pesto. It's gonna remind you of being in Southern Italy, but it's still a brunch. We're gonna pour some, uh, some scrambled eggs right into the soppressata and the onions. Love that. And we have our jalapeno pesto ready to go. We have the ciabatta bread. It's gorgeous. Nice and crusty, exactly what we want. And I'm actually gonna take this off and I'm gonna cut it. Just cut the ends off here and I'm just gonna make individual portions. All right, let's scramble these eggs. Mmm, smells really good. I'm gonna take a little bit of the provolone. That will make it even creamier. We melt the provolone in there, and then we're done. Okay. I'm gonna put the scrambled eggs right on top of the ciabatta, the crostini. I'm gonna take a little bit of our jalapeno pesto. Just a little bit, don't forget, this is gonna have tons of flavor in it. A little bit of fresh Italian parsley. Gives us some freshness. This is the quality control time of the day.